So every month on my Patreon and Discord channel, we have a challenge, and this month the challenge is to build a monster bass voice, and I also wanted to give this a try, experimenting with a few techniques I really like, building a monster drone. If you also want to join our monthly challenges, consider joining us on Patreon and Discord. And by the way, most of the techniques we will work with today are also available in my modular cookbook PDF. Links in the description if you are interested. Now we will use mostly the VCV collection for this one. For now I have here the Surge Mixer so I can mix the different layers and the Surge Filter so I can lower the intensity and not have the sound full on all the time. And of course I will also add some reverb at the end but for now it's all the way down. So the first technique that I think will work nicely here is mixing waves with Boolean logic. So I will use two VCV VCOs and I will combine them with the VCV logic module, this one here. Usually we will use Boolean logic to combine gate signals in various ways, but this can work really nicely also for sound design. So for now I will just use sine waves right to the A and to the B. And I also want to show you something quickly here on the scope. So if I connect, for example, let's go with the XOR output. Right, you can see that the result is unipolar positive, right, so it goes from 0 to 10. This is not something too bad, but I think it's good practice to keep audio signals bipolar just for staying on the safe side. Right, so we have to offset this somehow, so I'm going to use the CV, again, the VCV CV mix, send the signal first through it back to the scope for now. Right, the first channel, the audio will be again all the way up, so we have the same result. But now I can offset this signal with the second channel. So if I take this down by half, so 50% down, right to minus 50, we get, as you can see, a bipolar signal, audio signal, negative 5 to positive 5. So again, this is not a must, but I think it's a bit safer like this. So now let's send this to the first channel of the mixer. Right, there is no need for the scope for now. Right, now I want this to be a bass drone. So one VCO, we will tune an octave down. By default, the VCOs are tuned to C4. So if I right click the frequency knob and I enter C3, this will be an octave down. And the second VCO will be two octaves down, so C2. Right, and now all we need is a bit of a detune just to add some movement to them. So I hold Control and Shift on my keyboard and I just move them just slightly. And already we get lots and lots of movement. Right, let's try a different logic output. For now it was XOR, let's go with OR. I think OR is nicer maybe, although the XOR has more movement, but I think we will stay with the OR output for now, of course you can experiment with this. Right now I would like to add a bit more movement in the stereo field, so I will use for this two VCV delay modules, one and two, send the signal uh, to both of them, so it will go to the first one, and then a copy to the second one, right, and for now we will use the wet output, so only the processed signal will go back to the mixer. If you're uh, using a delay that doesn't have a wet output, just make sure to set the mix to 100%, this will be the same result basically. Now I don't want this to be a delay effect, I want this to be more of a chorus, a flanger type of sound, right, so for now we'll take the feedback all the way down. Right, and I will set the delay time to be much shorter. Let's say something like, even shorter, maybe something like here, let's say. Right, let's say something like this. Right, and now we need an LFO to add some movement to this. So I will use again the VCV LFO. And this will modulate uh, delay time once positive, 
right? And once, let's take this down for a second. And once the same LFO, but we open the antenna inverter to the left in this case, so it will be inverted. Right, so something like this. Right now I can add some feedback. Right, we can also use the triangle wave to modulate the tone again, once positive, once negative, so one becomes brighter, the other one darker and vice versa. Right, so we already have a nice layer to start with. Now let's add another layer to this and we will use wave splicing, which I all, uh, also really like. Right, so we will need three more VCOs, one, two, and three, and we will switch between two of them with the third VCO at audio rate. Again, creating an interesting texture. So for this, for the switching, we will use actually the fade module, again, also from VCV. For now, we will use sine waves from two VCOs, right? This will go, output one will go to the mixer. Let me solo this for a second, right? So now we just get a sine wave, right? And I will use again for now, just a sine wave from the third VCO to modulate or to cross fade between them, right? At audio rates. Now this is nothing special, but let's now take again the first VCO an octave down, again by default it's C4, so if I enter C3, we get an octave down, and the modulating VCO will take three octaves down, so not C3, not C2, but C1. Oh yeah. Right, so now change the, we will change also the waves, so maybe VCO1 instead of a sign we can get a so. Right, maybe VCO2, a triangle, right, and again, instead of cross fading between them, between the two oscillators, we will switch between them with the square wave, right, and now we have also pulse width, uh, pulse width control, right, so we can use another output here from the LFO to modulate the pulse width of this oscillator and add even more movement, right, and to add even more movement we will also detune them, right, and actually instead of having VCO2 playing again the note C, let's have it play a G and have a sort of a power chord kind of feel, just like you will play on a guitar, for example. Right, so again, I right click the frequency and I will go with G3 and detune it again just slightly. Right, now let's add some uh, depth to this sound with the filter, again with the VCV filter. I will use the high pass, so this sound will go through the high pass output, right back to the mixer. Right now, also the filter we can tune by notes, so if I right click the frequency or the cutoff and enter C1, right, this will be tuned now to C1. I will take the resonance all the way up, listen to, oh yeah, listen to what it does to the sound. Right, it adds uh, instability to the sound and adds also extra bass. I will also add some drive here. Oh man. Right, and to make this even more crunchy, I will use noise to modulate the filter a bit. Right, just again to add a bit more uh, texture. So let's say white noise will modulate the cutoff. Just a bit, and maybe pink noise to modulate the drive. Right, listen to this sound. Right, and now I will blend both layers, so I will take this channel all the way down, unmute the first one. Oh yes, this sounds already nice, so now I will blend them. Right, you can 
hear how much this adds to the sound. Very nice. Okay, for the third layer, we will use feedback. So we will patch this voice back into itself. Let me make some space here for a second. And we will use another delay module, right? Send the left output from the mixer back to the delay, right? And then take the feedback down. We will have feedback control from the level itself. Right, I will take also the level here of the third channel all the way down. This will be basically the feedback control. Right, connect again the wet output. So we have only the processed signal to channel three. And now I will add this slowly to the mix. Right, maybe I will change the delay time, let's say... Again, something shorter. Listen to this. Right, and now we can even process this further with another technique I really like, using a comparator to destroy sounds. Right, so I will use again the comparator from VCV. This delay will go to input A. Right, and again, if I show you this uh, for a second on the scope, I will take A greater than B. Right, you can see again we have a unipolar signal. It's not so bad, but I would like to have a bipolar signal. Just because we are dealing with audio here. Right, so again, I will use the CV mix. The audio will go first to the CV mix. Open it all the way so we have the same result. But now with the second channel, if I take it minus 50%, Right, it will take it 5 volts down and we have negative positive 5, a bipolar signal. And then this can go now back to the mixer. And now it's uh, processed by the comparator, which adds another layer of complexity. Listen to this. Now, finally, we can add some reverb. Again, I have here a um, plateau, so I'm going to add some wet here. Oh, yeah. Right, so we created our uh, dirty monster based drone while experimenting and having fun with various techniques. Again, if you are interested, come join us on Patreon and Discord. Go check out the modular cookbook. Thanks for watching. Cheers.